In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to insert images into your blog post and also your pages in a WordPress blog. Now blog posts and pages are pretty much the same, so I'm just going to show you an example how to use a post. Okay, so instead of creating a new post, I'm just going to select one of the posts that I've created earlier. I'm going to click on edit. And you would probably be looking at the YC Week or what you get is what what you see is what you get editor that looks something like this. Okay. Now, so how do you put in an image? If you notice carefully, uh, on top here there'll be an upload slash insert uh, line as well as several icons here. So the first icon is to add an image. The second is to add a video, the third is to add audio, and the fourth is to add media. So since you want to insert an image, I'm just going to click on add an image. And then just click on select files to find the image that you want to use. Okay, so I'm going to put in this image of the skyscraper here. And then click on open. And you can see that it's being uploaded to my WordPress blog. Alright, so here I can see the thumbnail of the image itself, the file name, the image uh, type, the upload date, and the image dimensions. Okay, so I can give it a title, an alternate text, and a few other things here. So let's give it a title. Okay. And an alternate text. So what is an alternate text? Basically when someone puts their mouse over the image, the alternate text is the text that, that they would see. Alright? Um, the alternate text is of course optional. And then you have the caption as well. Now captions actually appear directly under the image. So I'm just going to copy and paste and then you can give a description. Now this is the actual location of your file that has been uploaded to your WordPress blog. And you can see the location here in case you want to find it later via FTP. It should be uploaded to WP content slash uploads and then the year, the month and the file name. So if you want to send a direct link to this file to anyone by email, etc., this is the image that this is the uh, link that you use. Okay. And then now you can choose to align the image left, center, right, or no alignment at all. And then you can also choose to display a thumbnail, right? or the full size image. These two options are not available because this image is too small but otherwise you should also be able to specify a medium or large size. So I'm going to select full size for now and click on insert into post. Okay, so you can see um, my image over here. Alright, let me resize this box. Okay, so here is my image and you can see the caption over here, alright? So if I want to continue editing this image, then I just need to uh, click on the image itself and I'll see two icons appear. Now the first is to edit the image and the second is to delete the image, alright? So it doesn't actually delete the physical file from your web server, it just removes it from the blog post. So I can click on edit again. Alright, now I should also see a scalable size here, alright, so I can choose to display only 60% of the actual size. And I should also be able to see advanced settings, alright. Now if you know CSS or custom style sheets, then you can actually put in your own styles here. You can uh, put in a vertical space and horizontal space. And then there's also some advanced link settings, which you can pretty much ignore for now. Okay, and then click on update. And you can see the image has been updated. So let's update this post. 
and let's click on view post to check out how the image looks like. Now you can see the image here and if you notice when I put my mouse over the image the alternate tag that I entered earlier is now visible. Now since this is a thumbnail so I can also actually click on the image to be taken to the full size image. So that's how, uh, that's how easy it is to use uh, images in your WordPress posts or your WordPress pages.